What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. A lot of you have been asking that I make some dedicated cloud gaming setup videos starting with GeForce Now. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll go through setting up your icon media, your controller and all that stuff here for GeForce Now. So let's go ahead and get started here. Everything's going to be done in the desktop mode to get us going so that everything will work flawlessly once we switch back over to game mode. Now before we proceed, I do want to mention GeForce Now Electron, which you can install through the Discovery Center as well. It's an unofficial GeForce Now application for Linux here. And for me though, just the game performance and control support and stuff hasn't been on par for me and hasn't worked as well for me as just going right into Edge and Google and setting these things up myself. But if you want to give it a shot, you can. I did want to mention it, but that's why I go this route. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is open your Discovery Center and install the browser you want to use. This could be Edge or Google Chrome. They both work well for cloud gaming. If you're using Amazon Luna, that only works on Chrome currently. I'm just using Edge because I already have everything signed in and set up here, so it's going to be easier for me making a video. But either one you prefer, you can go for it. Same methods no matter what. I'm going to use the Microsoft website because they were one of the first to have a guide out for getting cloud to work properly on the two browsers. So we've got our command line for activating controller support and for launching in looking more like an app than a web page. So I'm going to use this here as a reference. I'll put this web page down in the description and also I'll try to put those codes down there as well in case you want to copy and paste. Also recommend here going and signing into your GeForce Now account ahead of time makes things a little easier. So back to the Microsoft website, I'm going to go ahead and copy this first line of code here for activating the controller support. I'm going to go down here and click on our all applications launcher right here. We're going to go to all applications and we're going to go to our console. Now once you find console and get that opened up, I'm going to maximize so you can see easier here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that line of code in here that's going to activate controller support for Microsoft Edge. If you're using Google Chrome, at the end there you would be com.google.chrome and it would unlock support for Google Chrome. And then you would hit enter and then you're ready to go for unlocking your controller support. So same idea, just different browser. Now we're gonna add this to Steam. So we're gonna open up Steam and go to add a game, add a non-Steam game, and you can see Microsoft Edge right here. If you were doing Google Chrome, it would show up as well. Click add selected programs and that'll be in Steam for you. You can scroll down here and you'll see I now have Microsoft Edge. Again, if you did Google Chrome, you could go find that there. So go into properties, same thing, no matter which browser you're doing. We're gonna go in here to our launch options. This is where we're gonna paste in that other line of code here from the website. Again, I'll have this website link in the description for you, and I'll try to put these codes in there for you as well so you can copy and paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this, go ahead and get it copied. Minimize Edge here, and we'll go back down here. So what we're gonna do is highlight these launch options that are already in here. We're gonna move all the way over and put a space after your double at here. You gotta have a space or it won't launch. Gonna paste that in. And now you'll see we're ready for Xbox uh, Cloud Gaming because it's xbox.com. So I'm gonna delete that. And we are gonna set this up for GeForce Now, which is play.geforcenow.com. And then we'll put our parentheses back in. And now that will change this over to send us to GeForce Now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is change the name of this. So we don't wanna be Microsoft Edge anymore. We're gonna name this GeForce Now. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my icon right here. I've already made all three of these, or four places we're gonna put the media. There's three pieces of media for that. So I'm gonna go in and grab that. We're gonna put my icon right here. I do have these in the Discord. If you guys wanna go join the Discord and grab those out of the Steam Deck uh, icon channel, there's a media that I put in there if you wanna go grab stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add in my banner as well that you can see here. So I right clicked, I add banner, I'm gonna go grab that. Puts the custom artwork here. Now we still have two more places. So if I go to library, you'll see GeForce Now down here if you've launched it previously so that you can see it show up. I'm gonna go in here and add the custom artwork again and I'm gonna put the banner right here. Now next to that where you see these skinnier capsules, that's where we're gonna to need to use that capsule artwork. So I actually need to open something else up really quickly. Let me speed us through here and you'll see it pushes this over and it's a blank. So I need to, again, right click here. This is the fourth place we're putting our media. Manage, set the custom artwork and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the capsule that I have made for this. I had all these three already downloaded, ready to go. Like I said, you can grab these out of the Discord if you wanted to. They're already made to the proper size. So there we go. We have everything in there. All of our media is in the four places, so it'll look nice in game mode. Everything's set up. It's launching properly. So let's go ahead and restart the deck and get back to game mode. So here we are in game mode. You can see GeForce Now is showing up. Our artwork is showing up. I can hit the Steam button and go to Library and Non-Steam Games. There we go. Everything's showing up nicely there as well. So we'll click on here. We'll go ahead and click on Play. And this will launch us right into GeForce Now, which is really, of course, 
Microsoft Edge, which is made to look really nice here. It looks more like an app experience. Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, you can use the controller now to navigate and everything, but with GeForce Now, you really can't. You're doing it more like a mouse. So I'm using a custom GeForce Now Classic control setup here from a community member. If you click on these templates up here, You'll see you have the pre-made ready to go Steam templates in here, which will work. You also have these community layouts, and this works great for a lot of different games and browsers and things like that. But there's different ones you can use in here for different games and different styles. So definitely if you're having issues with controllers, go see if there's maybe a different scheme or something that might work for you. I'm just using a classic GeForce Now scheme here that I downloaded that's been working great for me. So I can navigate with the track pads in the menu, and then once I launch into a game, I have full controller support. So with GeForce Now, it's great too, because of course, you can play games like Plague Tale Requiem, which doesn't run on the deck very well at all, but you can play it ultra everything at basically 60 FPS with the RTX 3080 tier here on GeForce Now. There's a lot of benefits to cloud gaming on the Steam Deck. I personally love Xbox Cloud Gaming and GeForce Now on my Steam Deck, and I've been using them since day one. And they save me space, they allow me to play games I couldn't otherwise play, like Destiny 2, or Plague Tale, or other games that might be on GeForce now. So anyways guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out this setup video, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave me your comments, all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.